Hey guys, Jesper here. It's time for tutorial number eight, and uh, this is um, more for the beginners uh, of Ableton. And I'm getting this uh, specific question surprisingly often, so I thought I'd show off um, how to do it. Um, the question is uh, how do you move uh, or actually produce stuff uh, if you start in the session mode, and uh, how do you bring it to the arrangement mode? There are two ways to do this, or actually three ways. Um, one way, the, the, the easiest one would be to make your, um, your beat. I'm using the same sounds from tutorial number seven. The easiest would be to just drag and select all of your stuff, click and hold, and you can drag it up to the arrangement view there and then drop it on the, the channels. If you zoom in here, you see that the length varies a lot, but you can take the shortest ones and drag them out there, and once you release there, you can take them there, and it will pick up all the other ones in the same length. And uh, this is very important, you need to push this button. Uh, as long as this one's reading uh, is r red, mm -hmm some of the, the material is reading from here and not from the arrangement view. So push that one and you will have your stuff here. And here you can arrange and, and edit stuff, um, whatever you like. So that's one way to do it. If we go back here, the second way to do it is to record uh, everything live and for this we need to set uh, the length of how soon the stuff you um, start playing should enter because everything is in sync so you need them to stay in, um, in some sort of sync so let's choose one bar so this way when we press record and I start playing one of these clips they are gonna be recorded into the arrangement view and uh, you can basically put down your arrangement uh, in real time. So let's try this. Record on, one bar. You see a little circle here showing when the clip starts and when it rotates. kind of made the whole intro for the track uh, fairly easily. If we go over to arrangement view, you can see oh, the track was playing uh, before I pressed record. But uh, basically here you have the whole arrangement that we played. So that's for how long the kick ran. And then I pushed the bass lines. closely you notice that I turned the, the kick off for a short moment uh, in the session view and then pushed this button. You can also do it, it's basically the same way, just duplicate a lot of stuff and begin deleting stuff. Let's add the tracks. That way we got only the kick, that way we only get the kick and the bass, this way we got kick the bass and the loops, the kick the bass loops and snare, and also a one with all of them. So let's remove that. We can try that again. Let's press stop. So we start from the beginning here. 
back to session view, record, and you can just record everything this way. So that's the second way of doing it. The third way uh, that I almost forgot about is that you just start in arrangement view. Turn looping on. Drag. Okay, we have one bar. Select for your kick. You start MIDI track. You have um, shortcuts for that as well. And of course, uh, because the, the loops are audio, you can't just uh, uh, make a, an, an immediate track. Um, sorry, I showed you the insert MIDI track. That was incorrect. I, was, uh, I meant uh, insert MIDI clip, but it's you can't select that as it's an audio channel. So that there, you have to drag and drop your loops. Or you can drag them from here if you put them here. Just right there to arrangement and drop that and extend them. These buttons between session and arrangement, uh, you can use tab as well. So you can always drag and drop as much as you want here. If you select multiple, they're just gonna be put one after the other. So there you have it, the, the, the starting points of how you make a track. Uh, if you have any questions, post them in the comments of this video or on airbasemusic.com. See you soon!